Hey, Tony from Bikeberry. It's good to see you. Today, what we're going to talk about is the racing stage engine kits and why is there a one, two, three, and a four? Let's roll. So what they noticed in the marketplace back in the day when they first started getting into this was, you know what? We need a way that helps people cut costs on getting performance parts on their first engine. That way it performs out of the gate better than anything you could get anywhere else. So, you know, normally what comes with a, an engine like that is just this stock head, which runs hot, you know, it runs a little too hot. Uh, and then, you know, regular exhaust, things like that. Like, what do you do to upgrade it? Well, when you start looking at cost of all of those things, they start adding up. So that's where stage racing engine kits came from. One, two, three, and four. So that way you have different levels of performance parts for your budget. Let's look at what the core engine is and the upgrades that they've made so that you get an engine that's reliable and easy to install. So all of the hardware has been upgraded. You know, eight millimeter hardware. You'll notice the studs are upgraded to eight millimeter. They used to be six on a lot of kits. They're not that anymore. It's all Allen bolts for the casings. Oh, sorry about that ding. I was moving things around and I banged into it <laughs> and messed up the sticker. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> uh, all these Allen bolts are, you know, the the higher quality ones. It used to, some of them used to be um, Phillips screwdriver. <laughs> uh, but all Allen bolts on the casing, see, so it's all good. Uh, and then if you notice like the magneto in here, see how overwound that coil is? So that's internally been upgraded. There's better bearings in here. Um, there is a copper gasket for here and where I've ordered ones that are aluminum and they, you know, just don't last as long and they end up leaking. Uh, and then they're just, you know, quality inspected all the way around. Uh, they don't have as much, I noticed in the ones I get, uh, yes, they all could use a little cleaning up, but I've noticed these as far as inside the cylinder head is pretty clean, you know, so when you're talking about in your, your intake and your outtake ports, uh, they're pretty clean, you know. Uh, you can go in there and do um, an even more thorough job, but coming from the, you know, from the factory, I don't really have a problem with them. So uh, just to know at the core, it's a really good engine, a really reliable engine, and all of the issues of, you know, things that could be a problem, they've already taken care of. Uh, even just notice that there's only two wires. Like a lot of times they'll ship out with a white wire and everybody's like, you gotta clip the white wire off. They already did that. Uh, I, also what I like about these is I've ordered other ones and it's just a hole in here and it's not tapped with a screw for the clutch arm. And you have to use like this little, little screw on thing on the end of the cable, which kind of is a pain. Another thing to note about the racing stage engine kits is they come up with the upgraded CDI. So it's just a much higher quality, more reliable CDI, where if you notice, I really like this red boot to where it has like this crimp ring inside of there that actually fits on top of one of these, you know, these caps, where I noticed some of them when I've ordered other uh, brands, they're a black boot that has a little bitty wire that ends up crimping to, let's take it off the stud. So I think the bigger area is more surface contact for electrical conductivity. So I prefer the red boot and it just feels like it's on there more solid to me. So that's a thing to note. Another thing I noticed was they use this type of clutch lever. That's what will come with your kit. So it's the, you know, push button type where some of them actually have like this ratchety thumb thing that holds, uh, those are not so good where this one just works flawlessly every time as you're riding, it's, it's just easy to use. So, um, that was a big difference I noticed on this one versus other kits. Do you know that they've already gone through it and fixed a lot of those issues that you may run into? Uh, a good example is my black bike here. If you look at, uh, this one, it's a stage four that I got. I just have the regular NT carb on. This has been a reliable engine that I really haven't done anything to. And that's because they thought of everything and, you know, implemented all of the right things in here to make it easy to install and long lasting. So when you look at what a stage one engine is, it's the body, right, of this engine. 
with all of the good upgraded hardware and all that. So it's a good performing, solid running engine at the core, okay? Now what you get with a, just a regular engine is this cast head. This sucker gets hot over, you know, and all that over time. So to, as an upgrade, you get this aluminum head, okay? This one runs definitely cooler than this, okay? So you're already getting an upgrade. Now they call these high compression heads and we did a head comparison video. If you want to go back and see that, check that out. And you'll see the, all the heat comparisons of this head versus this one. This was better. And so I would say it will definitely help your engine last a lot longer. And it's a pretty unique shape. Uh, and it being flat, it'll fit in tighter spaces better. So then with the stage one, you get the NT carb, this Bofang, which is a great carb like I can't say enough about it it's it performs really well it does have a manual choke you know when you start it you flip it there and well, after it's running you flip it up you know we have videos on that go check out the carburetor uh, videos but it's a great running stock carb and then you get your basic exhaust which you know people modified I, ne I never have I've always used other exhausts cause, right out of the gate because I thought uh you know, it's, these are fine. Um, but actually on, just to give you an example, I guess, I am running it on the BT100 right here, and it's great. It does fine. It's just a good regular old exhaust. So uh, really what you get with the Stage 1 is they have focused all of their, you know, quality in making sure that the, the base engine is a performer, okay? Then to help you with heat and everything, taking the head off, giving you this guy, okay? You got a good running carburetor, regular exhaust, and then uh, I know it comes with the NGK plugs come with it. So everybody raves about these. They're definitely a must. So that's what a stage one kit comes with. Let's move on to stage two. With the stage two kit, you get the upgraded HP carb. At first, I used the NTs for quite a long time, and... To be honest, the HP carb was kind of getting a bad rap. A lot of people like, oh, it wasn't so good and everything. And I decided to really give it a test, and I love it. It has the automatic choke where you push this down, and you roll the throttle back, and it clicks it up, so you get an auto choke. Uh, I mean, it is to me, it's a performer. It, you have to set it up a little different. We have videos on that, but I love it. It's a great carb, and I think there's a ton of potential in it that you can't overlook. So stage two, obviously get rid of this and put this guy on there. Got your better spark plug. You have your better HP carb on a really solid engine. That gets you ahead of the game. Let's talk stage three. It comes with this head and the HP carb. I feel like these are a match made in heaven. Okay, this head outperformed all the other heads in our head test video that you could see. Uh, it cools appropriately, it's the right size, it looks awesome, and just fits the overall vibe of the build. I just feel like it's just perfect because it's a little bit bigger than the fins on your, uh, on your engine. It's just perfect. It just really hits all of the points of making it look like a cool engine on your bike <laughs> while giving you the performance that you need. Like it's super solid. I noticed when I first started, um, you know, in this game and I ran my first one, this one's machined pretty well, but a lot of these are not machined flat. So I had leakage around where my spark plug screws in um, and I had some leakage here. So these cast ones are kind of like, eh, you know, but this was my first experience and it just works perfect. It's perfectly flat. So you have a good seal there. Your spark plug has a good seal. These are just made so well and fit the fit and finish of a motorized bike perfectly. So yeah, this couple of this being a match made in heaven, I feel like you can really, um, you know, get this fine tuned to be a real performer right out of the box with the right, uh, you know, gearing on the rear end and, you know, the right tr drivetrain and everything. And, um, uh, yeah, stage three is definitely a step in a better direction for more performance. Let's talk about stage four and what makes it different. This is the one I bought for the black bike. I ended up getting one of those flexible pipes, which, you know, when I watched uh, the exhaust muffler video that Bikeberry did years ago, 
uh, it performed really well and gave me the exact performance I wanted. So I didn't really get a chance to use this on my original build, uh, but I played around with it just to get ready for this kind of video. Uh, and it's, it is definitely a step up from, you know, your regular exhaust. Okay. So, because it gives you a bit, little bit of that back pressure. No, it's not a true expansion chamber like, <laughs> you know, like the BBR Deluxe one. Um, but it does get you in moving in that direction. I feel like as far as an engine kit that you can buy, and if you've never, ever ran these before, you could put all of this on there and you'd have a really good performer right out of the box. That then you can consider upgrading the way you want. Uh, this is definitely a welcome addition to the pack along with the HP carb and the high compression head, your better spark plug, and your awesome engine. So there you go, stage one, two, three, and four of our engine kits. Check the links out below. Uh, I'll link each and every one of them, one, two, three, and four. And that way you can decide for yourself which one better fits your budget and needs. The whole goal of this, as I kept saying through the video, is just to help you. Uh, you don't have to dive in and learn all the stuff. What, what do I need, a high compression head? No, it get, you get everything that you need to get off and running in the right way at the right time from the start. So, uh, And then you can follow the videos that we posted here and you can, you know, get your build going and, and really enjoy your ride. Uh, again, check the links out below, I'll post them. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then anything else, if I didn't cover something, ask the question below, please, because then I'll create a video on those topics because it really helps. So a lot of these videos come from viewers comments though you know people like you will say hey tony what do you think about <laughs> you know uh, compression heads or exhausts or things like that and so that's where all this content comes from is you the viewer and then i share my experience and the community's experience um so that's another thing jump in the facebook group too so appreciate you let's roll